Today's episode is going to be very, very special in which I'm going to show you a few unique controllers for a few consoles, mainly Nintendo and Sony controllers. I have a few lying around, they're weird as fuck, and I'm going to show you what they're like. Speaking of Sony... Soon. Soon. I promise. I don't even really want to talk about that day. That weird day. Anyway, let's get on with the show. You had your game and your favourite controller. This was the original controller that we all used. Uh, well, I didn't use, but what we're using to this day. Well, I'm not going to worry about the play. We're going to pop in Double Dragon. And we're going to use one of the coolest controllers the NES had to offer. The NES Advantage. Now, in my videos I already talked about me taking it apart and showing what it's like inside that. But I never really gave you a proper review as to what it is it can do. Now, there's some games that it kicks ass with. Mainly beat em up kind of games because it is kind of an arcade style layout. Uh, but I'm just going to show you a few of the games that I have. And some of the gameplay and what it's like to use it. If it is it awkward? Is it unique? Is it cool? Whatever. Uh, and I'll give you an overview as to what it's like. So, let's go ahead and play Double Dragon. There you go, you select two players. Weird. Okay. Let's see how this fares up. Introduction. Come on. Come on. So I'm gonna keep my turbos on fully. Ah, oh, good. Slow one. Die, 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 die. Turbo on. So I'm just holding one button and it's kicking ass. Ah! Come on. Do a jump. Do a jump. There you go. Come on, kick the crap out of him. Die, 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 die. Ah, don't jump over him. Die, die. This is working out cool for Double Dragon. Come on, go left. Go left. Go right, go right. Where are you going? Where is he? Go. go. Okay. Oh, go, 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 go. oh, you little shit bag. Come on, kick him. Get, die, ah, yeah. Get the whip, get the whip, get the whip, get the whip. Okay, okay, go, oh, okay, okay, come on. It's, oh, good, jeez. Don't throw that thing at me, oh, you asshole. Eh. Hey, you like it, eh? Yeah, kick your arm down. Okay, go ahead. Okay, get the boulder. Or drum or whatever it is. Okay, throw it on. Yeah! Kick, 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 kick. I'm gonna turn off the turbo and see how it fares up. It's just like a regular D pad. Oh, god damn it. I can never jump over those boulders. Or those boulders, barrels, whatever they're called. Da, da. Punch, 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 yeah. What's next? Get my ass kicked here. Turbo on, die. Whip, whip, whip. Okay, try it like that. See if that makes a difference. Okay, come on. Come on. Okay, up here. Okay, let's try a game that might be good for this, seeing as though it has kind of an analog feel. Marble Madness. Okay, push start. Enter my name, okay. Uh, yeah, just, yeah, just blah, whatever. 90 degrees, or player one, select control type. I don't know, one player. Right, 90 degrees. Okay, this should be easy. Alright, roll down the hill. But, okay. It feels good in the hands, knowing that I've got a nice smooth analog control. Not rocking the D-pad left and right. I have to admit, this does, does, this does feel pretty good. 
Come on, next level. Level two. 65 seconds. God damn it. Ah, uh, okay, let's go around this way. What the hell are they? Gamma ray blood. Ah, oh, crap, okay. Let's go this way. Ah, crap! Shit. Come on, ball. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, crap, no! Let's try go down here. Okay. Shooting in here, I suppose. Ah, damn. Crap! Crap! Get that! Get that! Oh! Oh, no! <laughs> Come on! Alright, okay. Uh, ah, damn. A and B buttons don't even do anything. Okay, come on. Okay, I can get it. I can make it. Come on. Where's the finishing line? Where's the finish? Ah, oh, damn! Come on! I'm almost there, I can smell victory. Yeah! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Yes! Okay. Okay, I don't think the NES Advantage is good for pretty much every game. The beat em up kind of side scrolling games, they're good, because you can just keep finger down the whole time, one finger down the whole time, and just kicks the crap out of them. I thought it would have been good with, you know, Marble Madness because it was a, you know, an analog feel, 360 kind of feel. But it's not the best really, but it's a lot more accurate than the D-pad, so I'll give it that. Anyway, let's end on a classic and see if Mario can do better. Okay. okay. Turbo off, I suppose. Ah, uh, crap. Goomba, 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 jump! There you go. Okay, get the mushroom. At the. Uh, and up, and up. It's easy to control, but it's just so. Uh, it's just so awkward, kind of. You're just so used to using your thumbs, not your fingers. I'm kicking ass now. I'll keep the turbo on the B button. Yeah, I'm blasting the fuck out of everything. Come on, come on. Yep, there you go. Okay, let's try a different one. Okay, I'm gonna do this with the turbo off, so I'm just gonna tap myself. Okay, no, shit, no, there you go. Get up, get up, get up, there you go. Ah, oh, shit, no, ah. Okay, ah, oh, slide, nice. Ah, oh, crap, die, 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 die. Get the jump, get the jump. Ah, oh, fucking Goomba. Hey, Goombas. Get the, yeah, now we're kicking ass, yeah, there you go, good man, Mario. Did I get the warp zone? Yeah! Oh yeah, I will. Okay, but get, get, there you go. Try one more, one more level, here we go. Hey, go Mario, jump! Get, get, get it. No, oh, crap. Ah, uh, no, slow. Okay. Okay, so Mario was fun. I mean, like it wasn't exactly easy, but it felt good. It was easy to do. The only problem is that you're just so used to your thumbs doing all the work. I'm actually terrified to put this game in my console because I have no idea what the outcome is. I've seen the proof and I've seen the videos. And I'm 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 terrified. Let's give it a whirl. Oh wait. And by the way, the game is this.
Oh god, what am I doing? I'm playing Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde with an NES advantage. Ah, god. Ah, god, what am I doing? I should be ashamed of myself. Okay, let's do this. Now you might be wondering why is it a lot slower? Well don't forget this game is American based, so it's not PAL, it's it's, it's not PAL. So the one thing to bear in mind is that it won't it's not exactly quick on the uh Oh you fuck. It's not exactly quick on the PAL format. Oh crap bomb. Okay, let's keep on going now. Okay, I'm bored already, really I am bored. Can I kill someone? Die. Okay, turbo on. Oh, you fuck. Okay, and jump. What's this fucking lane bombs for? Okay, jump. Ah. Yeah. Ah. What the hell? Die. Ah. Die. I can't kill anything. Ah, Jesus. Come on. Come on, get past this bird. Oh, gee, God. I forgot. Come on. Damn. What's happening? Ah, oh, God, I'm turning into hide. Okay. Okay, what do I do? I just shoot things. I think we all know the solution. To relieve yourself when you play a game this bad. That was the NES Advantage. Great controller, few games, good. Now, I only looked at a few games, I've got plenty more to work with, but I just wanted to give you an overview of it. Pretty much, it's a kick ass controller. I mean, look at it, it's big as hell, and it brings you back to those old arcade style, which is pretty cool. Anyway, as promised, we'll take a look at more weird controllers. So, join me for part two.